So I'm deep into servicing this uh, Remington KMC. Uh, I'm not going to call it restorating because the end result will look a lot better, but it's not a, let's say, museum quality restoration. And now I'm going to focus on these uh, keys. As you can see, they're a bit dull, they're dirty. Uh, yeah, so these need to be cleaned. These aren't glass keys, these are some sort of celluloid or whatever, some sort of plastic with a chrome ring. Uh, as you might know, stuff with chrome rings uh, is never a good idea to uh, use a lot of water or a lot of fluids to clean them because uh, you have the risk that whatever you are using of liquid is going to seep in through capillary forces and destroy the paper legend underneath. Um, because these have a plastic top, I'm not going to use my uh, regular cleaning method for uh, glass keys and chrome rings, which is uh, using uh, cotton swabs with some uh, isopropyl alcohol 99%. Instead, I'm going to use this stuff, which polishes the plastic, which polishes the metal and should get rid of the gunk well let's see well, something else you will need is a clean soft rag to wetten it a bit you make sure you wring it out a bit that it's just damp and not wet take a very little bit of the polish on the wet spots, spray it out a bit, it's not too concentrated, and then you start rubbing this gently. Then you take another cloth or a dry piece of your same cloth and dry that key. Best you can. There we go. And that's what I'm going to do to all these keys. So I hope you can see which ones I have already done now. As you can see, uh, two keys in are looking already a lot better. Now I'm going to tackle this semicolon for you guys, which is extremely grungy. See? Let's see if I can get this on screen, how well this works. Sides, so you want this entire king to be shiny, uh, this entire key to be shiny. I'm gonna rub it off with a different cloth. Well, it's already looking a bit better. I'm gonna go over it once more.
there we go looking a whole lot better thanks for watching